Hello there, uh, I'm about 10 hours into Star Wars Outlaws now and having a blast, but the game is not without its issues, so I'm going to talk about what I think is both the best thing about Star Wars Outlaws, but also the worst thing. I'll start with the worst thing, I talked about this already in a short in a TikTok, but the worst thing about this game so far for me, from a gameplay design and gameplay mechanic viewpoint, is the forced stealth section. So early on, for example, you have to sneak through a Pike Syndicate controlled area. The game tells you that if you are caught, you will be kicked out. The guards are going to kick you out of the area. Area. Simple enough, no combat is allowed, so if you're caught, you can't switch to guns blazing, which is kind of annoying. The problem is, if you do get caught, you don't just get kicked out of the area, and then you sneak back in and try again. The game actually just completely resets the section. So all the loot that you picked up on your first time through, you lose it and it actually all resets. So if you opened up like three chests that were off the beaten path in this area, and then you get caught, those three chests seal up again and they re-roll their content. So let's say you got like Course Weave, which is an item that you use to upgrade your armor rating. Say you got that the first time, you get caught, you come back through, you open up that chest again, and it's something completely different. And it's so annoying because you'd be like, oh, well, I needed that Course Weave and now I've lost it because I got caught. Because the game said it would just kick me out of the area and I'd get to try again, but it doesn't. It just resets this area, which kind of sucks. It just feels incredibly frustrating and not fun to do. I'm okay with re-going through the section had I just been kicked out, maybe I, you know, lose some reputation with the pikes or something, but it's legitimately just making you replay the section. Not to mention the autosave functions have been kind of screwy. You might play for like a little bit, the game will say it's autosaved, you die, and then it will kick you back to like 20 minutes ago and you'll lose a lot of progress. Uh, so, you know, you might have done a one main mission, three side quest, cleared out a hideout, and then all that stuff is just gone because the game said it auto-saved and it didn't. It's a very, very frustrating thing. That being said, today it seemed to have been working really, really well when yesterday it wasn't for me. I don't know if they changed something on their end, but uh, I don't know. But to me, I think that has been like the worst part of it so far, these four stealth sections and how far you get kicked back. And now let's talk about the best part in my opinion. Um, I do think the world has just been designed to perfection. I'm still actually only on the first planet, Tashara, and I love it. I, it's beautifully realized, the environments look nice, it feels like Star Wars to a T. But in terms of mechanics that I think is the best thing this game has going for it, I don't know the name of it, I'm just gonna call it the expert system. It's um, how you get new abilities in the game that I really, really love. So you don't get experience points or skill points in this game. Instead, you can find like components and upgrade your blaster yourself. But you can also talk to experts and they'll sort of assign you tasks to do which will allow you to learn new abilities six tasks I think per expert so far. So for example one of the experts I spoke to was um, a specialist in speeder bikes and they could upgrade your speeder bike and one of the easy tasks was to do a jump that was at least 60 meters long and not fall off your bike in the process and then once you did that you unlocked the ability to jump your speeder bike when you were just driving around normally meaning you can avoid obstacles on the ground like rocks and animals and stuff. I know that doesn't sound super exciting or impressive when you just say it out loud, but I honestly love it and when you experience it in game it just works so well because it sort of contextualizes how you're improving and how K is learning new abilities um, and learning these new things in the world. You don't just hit an XP milestone and suddenly you can shoot better, you know, because you clicked I want to unlock this ability. You actually have to learn how to do these things by doing something similar or something that would feel like a natural progression. Like, yeah, you do this thing and then you can do this thing. You know, it just works. You know, instead of being like, oh, instead of just clicking a button that says, oh, you can now shoot better, you have to, you know, shoot five people that are distracted by Nyx and then suddenly you can do this better ability, you know? It just feels like both you, the player, and K are learning new things and getting better at the same time and it just feels really good and I like how it's just contextualizing abilities in the world. So yeah, that is what I think is the best and worst thing about Star Wars Outlaws so far. Uh, I'm going to get back to playing this game to be honest because I am addicted to it and maybe try and get off the first planet to Shara because I still have Akiva, Kajimi and Tatooine to get to and I've already spent 10 hours on the first planet uh, so, and I'm really taking my time with it and loving it. People have said they've finished the game, like the main story in like 20 hours. I think I'm going to get there in about 40 at the rate I'm going probably probably. Uh, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving the game. There's certainly issues though. I talked about them a lot in this other video uh, and, you know, blasted to my head. If I had to give it a score and rate it from what I've played so far, 
while there's so many things I love about it, some of the gameplay choices and mechanics that they've put in the game just sort of bring it down a little bit, and I'd probably go around a 7 or an 8 out of 10. But again, I have only played one of the four main planets. Five if you count Canto Blight. Really enjoying it. Can't wait to get back to it though. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this, make sure you follow me here and on TikTok and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. May the force be with you. Always.